5.24. Figure below shows the position time graph of a particle of mass 0.04 kilogram. Suggest a suitable physical context for this motion. What is the time between two consecutive impulses received by the particle? What is the magnitude of each impulse? Now see, here we can observe this thing at two second. See this graph. So at two second, the velocity changes because see here, this give you positive velocity, this give you negative velocity. So if we take the velocity before two second, then the slope of this part. So here, x on y axis, that is in centimeter. So two centimeter, that is two into 10 raised to minus two meter divided by on x axis, there is the time. So two seconds. So initial velocity comes to 0 0.01 meter per second. So initial momentum that is mass into velocity. Mass is 0 0.04 given to you into 0 0.01 velocity. You calculated with the help of the slope of this line. So initial momentum comes to 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 kilogram meter per second. Now velocity after two seconds. So this one is the graph after two seconds. Straight line, so velocity is constant. So take the slope. So again here, slope that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 by 2. But graph is moving downward. Slope is negative. So we can write final velocity that is minus 0 0.01 meter per second. So final momentum that is mass into final velocity, 0 0.04 into minus 0 0.01. So it comes to minus 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 kilogram meter per second. So impulse that is change in momentum that is final momentum minus initial momentum. So PF minus PI minus 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 minus 4 into 10 raised to minus 4. Resultantly you will get that is equal to minus 8 into 10 raised to minus 4 Newton into second. So magnitude of impulse that is 8 into 10 raised to minus 4 Newton into second. Now see, after each two second, the velocity changes because the direction of motion changes. So we can say the interval for impulse that is equal to two second. Or we can say time between two consecutive impulse that is two second. Clear to all of you?